What's going on everyone? Sam Summerness from Two Brothers Innovations here today. I'm just hanging out in the shop here, just kind of daydreaming about the rest of the ice season. Uh, most people across the ice belt, their ice season's done. They don't have ice anymore. Us up here in Bemidji, thankfully, we still have plenty of ice and a lot of ice season left to go. Um, one thing I'm looking forward to is kind of the late season perch and burbot one-two punch. It's one of my favorite things to go out and do. Um, go out kind of two or three o'clock in the afternoon for a few hours, go hit those sand flats at the bottom of breaks or points, and just go have a blast catching a bunch of perch using noodle rods, spoon daddy specifically. I like using light walleye spoons for those perch. And then as the sun starts to set, I'll slide back up on top of that breaker point and I'll upgrade. I'll use a big spoon and a big rod and I start pounding sand for bourbon. One of my favorite things to do in the ice season. I like to use big spoons, big rods, big reels, big line. Burbot's a big fish and they play hard. One of my favorite combos for using, uh, for trying to target these burbot is an Elliott Greenback, my Shimano Stratic 2500. I use 10 pound braid straight. I don't like to mess around. Big glow buckshot spoons. The other setup I like to use is my 2B Apex. My Stratic 3000, once again, 10 pound braid. Really don't mess around with these fish. I like digging these big hooks hard home. You get a bite, they're more than likely not gonna let go. So being able to really dig that hook home and then fight that fish out under the hole. For those of you that have never caught a burbot, they do some of the wildest acrobatic movements I've ever seen under a hole. It's very hard to get them up. So having a nice fast action rod that's gonna be able to take those head shakes and play them out as they're rolling around is crucial. So those are the two rods I like to use for targeting burbots. The, re the lures I like to use, like I said, are big spoons and big jerks. Something that's got a lot of weight that's gonna pound bottom and bring those burbot in. Um, the other thing too is big hooks. These burbot get heavy and they will bend out a normal small walleye hook. So sometimes it is crucial to upgrade a hook just to make sure that you get that fish all the way up and into your hole. So. Good luck this ice season if you still have ice or if you're going to travel up and try and do it, but hopefully you can get on some big perch or big bourbon. We'll see you guys later.